Hi everyone, Terry Knight with Engineering TV. Today I'm with Maurice Batiste of PMC Audio. He's gonna tell us a little bit about their innovative technology in their speakers. So Maurice, tell me, why has PMC been on top of the speaker game for 19 years? Primarily it's due to the advanced transmission line technology that we use within our designs. Um, as you probably know, we have the sealed cabinet designs, that's where it's kind of all originated, which was followed up by the ported or base reflex designs that a lot of more manufacturers, especially around here, would start to use to increase the efficiency within the cabinets and for the drive units. Um, we started to look at some older principles within studio loudspeaker designs. Uh, other companies like IMF and TDL have used those in the past, but unfortunately we're not able to get rid of the flaws that were in the design. Um, what we basically do is we use the original transmission design technology, but we advanced that a little bit further. The biggest issues that uh, we had, and I think it's quite nice to use an example for that, is that a lot of companies in the past has always used the woolen hair as absorptive material within the design. The problem with that is that it only absorbed a limited frequency bandwidth. It also did not control all the air within the cabinet, so you did not have the full efficiency that you would be looking for. What we basically did is we used different types of foams that we basically manufactured ourselves that allow us to create a bigger frequency bandwidth uh, to absorb all the high mid and upper bass frequencies within the cabinets. It also allows us to control the air within the cabinet a lot better so that when we play for instance at low levels the drive units have absolute movement, no restraints. The moment we start turning up the volume the air within the cabinet is compressed but very much controlled so we have more efficiency out of the drive units. What the transmission line kind of does further in this design is that by absorbing all the unwanted frequencies and reflections within the cabinet, it clears up the imaging and the sound stage that comes out of the speaker. You basically have far less distortion within the speaker itself. That will help obviously the performance. Uh, what it also does is that by absorbing all the unwanted frequencies and only allowing for the lower bass frequencies to travel through it is, um, in this design it actually goes down, goes up, comes down again and goes out of here. What comes out of here are only the lower bass frequencies, which are exactly in phase with the bass driver on the front. Um, in the bigger systems that we have, the, the end of the transmission line tunnel is either at the bottom or at the top of the front. What it does is that by having that exactly in phase with this bass driver, it allows us to go an extra octave lower into the bass. It also gives us an extra 3 dB in the bass. Um, allowing us to play at very low levels, have consistent frequency response, and when we turn up the level, the SPL level, the frequency response does not change. It stays the same, it only gets louder, which is very important, especially in the studio environment where we come from. After all, we are the professional monitor company, um, where people have to work for 10, 12, 14 hours a day in a studio. Um, they can, if they wanted to, listen to our systems at 136 dB SPL, uh, I don't want to be in that room, but they also can do it at 60 dB and have the same frequency response, and that is very essential.